it is expected that the stakeholders will spend this, will use this opportunity to get together, put the interest of the game ahead of every other interest, put the interest and the career of the athletes, the basketball players ahead, and come to an equilibrium where they will reach a compromise. This government is not averse to reviewing that position. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development gives conditions for the government to reverse its decision to withdraw Nigeria from the international competitions for two years. This comes after a prolonged leadership tussle that rocked the Nigeria Basketball Federation. After deliberations to have the government rescind its decision, the Federation of International Basketball Association wills the big stick and the senior women's national team, the Tigress, becomes the first casualty. The global body replaced the African champions with Mali at the upcoming Women's World Cup, and this has generated reactions. It's going to be very tough for a lot of athletes, especially for me, because I have a lot of I have a lot of things I want to see. I want to see them become. I have some that I'm in touch with. They want Nigerian players to get to the top, but this looks like it's bringing everything down. It's not helping us move forward. It's a very bad one for us that are the younger athletes. It didn't worry me because already I know it's going to happen. Since the federal government has withdrawn the national team from international, you don't expect them to just sit back and be pampering you and telling you you've done a great job. No. You're trying to bring the game or them into disrupt you like in terms of not... I don't have to put it, but trust me, we should expect more. Those foreign players, you know, it's from there they uh, evaluate them, you know, some people that will play in the club, some people that will play in America, because without that, the outing, then nobody will know who is full to play basketball in America. FIBA adds that it will announce further disciplinary measures, fueling speculations of a possible ban on Nigeria.